In this uh, video, I'm going to teach you how to make an aerial photosphere. An ordinary photosphere is a solid sphere of imagery, um, pretty dramatic to look at with a special viewer. An aerial photosphere is the same thing taken from a high altitude where you can get a nice picture of a landscape, maybe you're in a pretty part of the country. Here I am launching my quadcopter off the back of my boat this summer in Alaska. I'm now checking out to make sure it's stable and ready to be controlled. Once I've satisfied myself that I can keep it under control, I'll take it up to altitude and then take three strips of imagery, video imagery. And I've got the video recorder obviously running all the time. And afterwards, I take the video and I split it up into individual still frames to be knitted together into a photosphere. Strip number one, you, turn, you move the quadcopter's pan control as high as it can go. Most uh, quadcopters allow you to pitch up to the horizon, which is what this one does. And then slowly pan a full circle at a nice, slow, leisurely pace. Having created one strip, you pan down, remembering that video strip two has to overlap vertically with the strip above it and the strip below it. And then you pan around in a circle again. Um, nice view. This is a pretty place in Alaska I visit every year. Oh, by the way, the best time of day for this sort of thing is at noon. It gives the most even light, lighting, so this isn't an ideal situation. Okay, now video strip 3, the lower part of video strip 3 has to point straight down in order to completely cover the sphere. That little white dot is my boat, by the way. That's, by the way, how I know that it's pointed straight down. It's not as, often it's not as easy as that to find out where the, the vertical axis is in your image. Uh, when I'm on the boat, it's very easy. Anyway. Now we have to recover the quadcopter. This is maybe not so easy. If I'm in Alaska and the wind is blowing, I have to guide the quadcopter back to the boat and snatch it out of the air to recover it. The description of how to convert these video images into still images and then convert them into a photosphere are covered in links below this video, as along with a link with a large collection of photospheres I created this summer. So that would be uh, something that I recommend you uh, to find out how to actually convert this part, this difficult part where you fly the quadcopter. By the way, one more thing before I go. Make sure you turn off the video recorder before you shut down your quadcopter, otherwise the video file is corrupted. Don't want that to happen. Thanks for watching.